Folks, we're continuing our series on this Twitter thread. Yes, I'm calling it Twitter. Don't at me with your skibbity riz or whatever the kids are saying these days. And today, we might be addressing evidence of flat Earth. It's actually hard to tell because the evidence is such hot garbage, in my personal opinion, that I'm not 100% sure what it's trying to prove. It also relies heavily on misinformation about word etymology or code phrases, I think. I don't know, it's truly unclear. I'll show you. Island equals island. What is that even supposed to mean? Also, no. If we go back far enough, it comes from the Proto-Germanic Auland? Something like that? I don't know. I don't speak Proto-Germanic. But it's basically land on the water. Now, I'm cutting out an enormous amount of history and etymology of a lot of words that came together to make island, but uh, it's a lot closer and more accurate than I land. Like, I land. It also makes a hell of a lot more sense. So, I'm just saying. Also, why would this establish a firmament? What? Planet equals plan, E minus T, or plane. Okay, again, why would plane be relevant? I might have an answer to this. I'm not really sure uh, because I don't really know what's going on here. But it's not because of the firmament. Planet comes from the Greek word planetes, planetes. I also don't speak ancient Greek, uh, which means wanderer. Plane from airplane is something that wanders through the air. I mean, that's a connection, right? Oh, unless they mean like a flat plane. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. But that comes from the Latin planum. Entirely different word. It's better than island, though. Which is, is it supposed to be suggesting you can see across the entire world because it's flat? Is that what's going on? Because you can't see across the entire world. There are experiments that prove that and everything. I genuinely don't know exactly what their argument is. So it's really hard to explain why it's wrong. But like, Island's not I land. I think, I think we know this. While I'm thinking of it, what determines the math? What rule requires the subtraction of T and not another letter like E? Because then you get plant. And plants are found on a globe Earth. Uh, globe Earth confirmed? Logic doesn't really logic, does it? For either of us. Horizon equals horizontal. Well, kind of? Horizontal was defined as parallel to the plane of the horizon. Is that supposed to mean the Earth is flat? How does it do that? We see the horizon as a flat plane that is horizontal to us on the surface of the Earth, when we're on the surface of the Earth. Because the Earth is, in fact, really, really big. If you zoom in on a basketball enough, it also looks flat, but we know it's not. It's a basketball. Like, what? where are we going with this? Constellation equals constellation, or conspiracy tell a ton. No. First, where'd the I go? You removed a letter to get ton. What's the limit to that? If someone said, the Earth is not flat, do I get to remove a few letters until their statement is, the Earth is flat? Or am I limited to one letter per word? Uh, who sets the rules? The word constellation actually comes from the Latin stella. The prefix con means together. The suffix shun means the result of. So constellation breaks down to the result of stars together. Or something similar to that. I'm no entomologist. That's the study of bugs. Galileo equals Galileo, or Galileo lies. Now, immediately, there are some major issues. Obviously, this is a consistent theme, but if Galileo means Galileo lies, we get a recursive function because I'll draw it out. Galileo equals Galileo equals Galileo lies, but since you have Galileo there, you then get another nested Galileo equals Galileo lies, but then you have Galileo there, and so that's nested to Galileo, et cetera, et cetera. You can't use the word to define itself. Additionally, does the ga stand for Galileo, or does the leo stand for Galileo? And how do we know this doesn't mean Galileo lies to lions? Leo, of course, being the Latin word for lion. Also, where did this e come from? You can't take away this i and then add this e. Well, 
except after C, little known grammatical fact, but let's keep going. Rainbows equals make a dome. Now, I genuinely don't understand how we get make a dome from rainbows, unless it's no longer about the etymology of the word and is suggesting that rainbows make a dome, although technically, surely the dome would make rainbows? Probably? I don't, I don't know, because there isn't a giant dome in the sky. Sea level equals sea level? No, those are two different words, C and C. They're not the same, although they sound similar, sure. That's called a homonym, something that I believe is still taught in the public education system. Astronaut equals astronaut. See, you did it again. It's a funny little play on words, but proof it is not. I don't know, you think I nailed this one? That this doesn't prove that the Earth is flat? Let me know by liking the video. Subscribe for more nonsense like this, and play nice in the comments. Seriously. Until the next time, be good, stay safe.